All right, we are good to go. We're just waiting for him to start to lag. This is the finals. Race to 11, amateur nine ball. Bruce has got 11-6 for Jeff. I just want to see a good match. Calcutta, who do you got? Miss 8-Ball, who do you got? Hit that share button, everybody. Yeah, Jeff won the finals. Uh, big wigs. I'm just going to zoom back a little bit there, guys. And away we go. Matt Crawford, what's going on, buddy? Welcome to the stream. This is the finals. Race to 11. Rob Sakal. This is rack number one. Jeff Robson to break. The one stays up, two lays nice. Well, everything lays over a pocket. If anything, the shot, the two to the four. Oh, he left tough cue in here. Hit that share button, guys. Steel City, yeah, the match just started, buddy. First rack. Scores at the top left of your screen. Plays good on the two, stops there. He's got the six into the top right. Or the five in the top right, sorry. We will have the awards ceremony right after this. Good shot. Draw back, play the nine in the bottom right. And that's rack number one. Jeff Robson takes a one nothing lead. What's going on, chips? Everything's good, man. Welcome back, my friend. 
This is the finals. Men's amateur nine ball. Race to 11. So rack number two, Rob to break, Rob trailing, one rack to nothing. Oh yeah, belly's full, buddy. It's a good break. Does have a shot at the one. The one does pass the six into the bottom left. Moncton, New Brunswick in the house. Hit that share button, you East Coasters. Good safety. I'm not sure if you can see an edge of the one. No, it doesn't look like he can. But he can kick bottom rail. That nine ball might go moving too. Oh, it's a solid hit, but he just left a one nine wired. We're knotted up at one, folks. Got Fredericton in the house. Yeah, that was super wired, supercharged. <laughs> Rack number three, Jeff to break. Tied at one. Great break. And it lays pretty like a girl in a sweet summer dress. Good shot. It's got a good angle. Right, just draw straight back. Play the three into the top left. Good shot. Looks like he's going to put a big draw stroke on this. No. Good shot. <laughs> it's a good shot. Just come bottom rail. And play the six in the side or the six to the top left.
Thanks a lot there, guys. Good stroke. Eight into the right side. But I don't think pool man's got sound, so thanks a lot, guys. So he left himself a tester on the nine, but he should make it. Jeff Robson takes a 2-1 lead. This is the Nine Ball Men's Amateur 2012 Canadian Q Sport Championships live from Shooters Snooker and Sports Club, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. No, Calcutta. Uh, he may be at work or on some sort of device that might not have sound, only can probably pick up the chat. I know he's been on earlier and he mentioned that he doesn't have a sound, so. Rack number four, Rob to break, Rob trailing, two racks to one. Parks cue ball center table. The two rolls nice. Three's over the right side pocket. The four is at the bottom of the table. He's just got to get a good angle on the three. That's a good shot. Just get in between the six and the nine. It's almost like a little stab shot. Or no, sorry, I think no, that's the four. That's the four over the bot towards the bottom right pocket. And I thought that was the eight. So he's just gonna draw back. I think he can cue it up enough where he can play the four into the bottom left. I think he might be playing safe here. Because it does not pass to the bottom right. Smart shot. Going to see a one rail kick here from Jeff. He might even go two rails. Long rail, bottom rail. Looks like he does go one rail. You might be able to see. I don't think he can see enough paint. If he can thin hit it, it's a good shot because he'll leave the four just a bit off to where it is now and bring the cue ball, cue ball back to where it is. That's it. I like the two rail kick that way. You have a good chance of leaving the cue ball right there. Oh, he just kicked it right in. What a shot. Kicks it in.
Oh no, is he gonna freeze behind the nine? Oh, by his body language, I think he can still cut it. I can't tell from where I am if he can get by the nine. I think he might only be able to see the left side of the ball. Keen eye. Yeah, I believe it is, buddy. I believe he won it last year. Yeah, he won the juniors last year, correct. He beat Karim Namek in the finals. He's going to have to come up with a really good stroke here. If he can throw it with right hand spin come two rails back down for the seven in the bottom right. Now he got the shape, but he missed the pot. have to come with another good stroke shot. No, can't be missing those. You're right, Calcutta. Three times. Nope. Lost the cue ball. So we're going to be knotted up at two here. Good shot. We are knotted up at two. Yeah, he's wearing his ring. Ah, Jeff's got his ring on. I don't think he was playing with it yesterday, but I saw him with it on this morning. What a snap. How's the three going to lie? Uh, I think we're going to be seeing a safety here. Welcome aboard, Candace. Yeah, this is rack number five in a race to 11. We're tied at two. <laughs> what a shot. Jason Clatt, yeah, he's here if that's the Jason you're talking to, talking about. He was in the house yesterday. Oh, okay, never mind. 
No, Jason's not here yet, but he should be here soon. I think 5 o'clock, he was saying earlier, he might be strolling in. So, depending on traffic and that, he was on the stream earlier today. And I think he was saying he should arrive here at about 5 p.m., 6 p.m. That's a sick shot. Got a two rail, uh, one rail kick. No. Taps the table. Nice hook. Those are game winning shots, man. It's great safety. Just got to come up with a good shot here. Come from the three to the four. He wants to get on the right side so we can play the four into the top left. All right, let's line up the three nine. Nice shot. Three, two. Strong break, makes two balls. Has a shot on the one, twos towards the bottom left pocket. Problem is the three six. Hey, what's going on, Scott? Yeah, man, we just started. They've been trading racks here. I think we're going to have a close one. This is the finals, race to 11. This is our last match of the day, folks. And he ended up falling a little straight on that deuce. So we're going to see how Jeff's going to work out this rack. Still got to come up with a good shot to get on that good angle on the two to break out that three. Unless you line up and play the bank side. You might even be able to play a carom three in off the, the cue ball off the three, six in the side. You know, and these two players haven't missed much today. In Rob's B-side final match. I believe he missed maybe four balls the whole match. The guy was on fire, man. Played the breakout. What a shot. From my angle, I can't tell if the th three passes a six into the side or not. 
but he could play a carom. Play the safe. Smart shot. Thanks, Candace. You're fast. <laughs> I was leaning over to type it in, and it's like, boom, pops up on the screen. Oh, okay. Now he's got two rails here. He might even go three. Kick the backside of the three. What a hit. Hey, left him an edge. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. This kid looks good, man. He's playing very strong. Hit those share button, everybody. Lays nice. Six in the side. Seven top left. Nine in the bottom right, uh, bottom left. Doesn't want to be on the rail, though. I didn't think the three went either, man. That was a sick shot. Nice stroke. Jeff Robson takes a 4 to 2 lead. Yeah, you're going to see this kid. I think he's going to make some noise on tour, man. He's one of those guys where you look at him and say he looks like a pool player. Oh, he's got a level head. I think this kid has a good future ahead of him. He's grown a lot, man. It's it's good to see. Strong break. Wing ball goes. One in the side. He's left himself a bank deuce here. And that three is hanging over the left side pocket. He might elect to play the safe. That's it. Just spin it. Two rails back behind the eight. It seems like every time Rob's coming to the table, he's hooked. How's everything going? Okay. Good, Mr. Croft. This is the final, what, this is the final B side? No, finals, finals. Last match of the day. Yeah. I'm trying. Uh, I got the thing to work, the splitter, but it's only reading one mic. I'm still working on it. And once we get it done, I got some uh, special guests that are going to come and join you guys. So, said it was nice to have Jeff White on here earlier.
All right, I'm going to try. Uncle Leo. But I'm working on it. It's a thing with Ustream, so I just got to figure out a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. No, he's okay. He hit that good. Yeah, Rob hasn't had a chance. Every time he's been at the table, he's hooked. Another safety behind the eight again. He's not giving him nothing. It's tough to play when every time you get to the table you're hooked. You just gotta hope for something good to happen. Get a good kick and get lucky on a leave. That's it. Jeff's playing smart. Jeff's not gonna make nothing easy for Rob. Rob's gonna have to earn it. Four in the side. Table lays pretty. Starting to get a full house here, shooters. shot. Play the seven in the side, or seven into the bottom left. Shot. Put another bead up for Jeff, it looks like. It's another rack for Jeff. Yeah, it's almost like tennis. <laughs> Rob's going to have to get a rack on his serve, on his break. He's got to start clawing back. If he can break and run this rack, and then... Jeff breaks dry, makes a mistake, and takes that rack. Yeah, he's just down by one. Nope. And that's why it's going to 
to be so interesting with the pros. It's like I was saying, a lot of these guys are going to run rack for rack for rack. It's all going to come down to the leg. Whoever wins the leg will win a match. But I think you're going to get a lot more closer matches. And as we've seen... This is opportunity. It's got a strong break, open table, lays nice on the one. Two is open. Gives you perfect position for the four. If Rob needs to seize control, this is the time. He needs to run this break. Okay, play the two into the bottom left. Good shot. That's a big shot right there. It's a good stroke. Just draw this back, play the seven into the top right. He's got a perfect angle. Roll forward. Play the nine in the bottom right. Okay, like to drop back. It could be his preference to shoot nine balls into that bottom left from that side. He is left-handy, so. That's a good break and run by Rob. All right, now let's see if Jeff breaks dry and make a mistake. There's a chance that he can get back in this. Oh, Rico, uh, in Rob's semi uh, B-side final match, I think he made he missed three balls. He ended up winning nine one. I think he missed three shots. Coming into this, I had Rob probably shooting at a 960. Uh, Jeff was probably at about a 900, 920. I'll see what happens on the break. Jeff's been breaking like a machine. Let's see where that one lays. The one lays pretty, two over the bottom right. What a break. Wide open. Can't do nothing when a kid's breaking like this, man. Yes, it is five to three. <laughs> five three. They both been lights out all day. Come back a little for shot. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just Jeff's not giving Rob a sniff of the rabbit here. Oh, well, here's the break in the rack. This can put him one back. So like I said, it's almost like tennis. Uh, tennis. It's just like tennis. Rob needs to break his serve a few times. Oh, you like Sunnis? <laughs> hey, he's got a tester on this four. Get around. I think he's okay. Yeah. I think he can see it that straight slick silver. If not, he just has to put a little hair of left. Yeah, good shot. Now he's got to come up with another nice shot here. You have enough room, Johnny? Oof. Yeah, you had to come... Oh, look at this. Oh, no. I thought I was going to roll in. It's just off the rail. He had to come up with a good shot on that six. I thought he might have been able to go forward on it. I guess he couldn't get by that nine. Let's try to put a massive draw stroke. What a shot. Tony, man, uh, he hasn't missed much. Uh, you can barely fit two balls in the pockets. Barely. They're a bit smaller than four and a quarter, I think. It's another rack for Jeff. Takes a 6-3 lead. Rack number 10. Rob to break. Rob trailing. Three racks to six. Uh, chips. You can barely fit two balls in the pocket. There's like a coaster's width on each side. So I, yeah, it's a little smaller than four and a quarter. Nice snap. Makes three balls off the break. And 
No, I, they're, I think they're playing a little tighter than the Diamonds at Wacky Wings. Yeah, like, if you put two balls in your hand at Wacky Wings, you can still kind of slide them in without the balls kind of hitting a rail. Here, you can't just free slide your hand into it. You'll hit the rail. Yeah. Uh, it's a good, no, it's a good thing that they play, uh, on the bar box. Is Wacky Wings tighter? I haven't played on the tables there on those diamonds, but these do look tighter. Because yeah, I know they're diamonds. Yeah, they are? Okay. There you go. But these are playing, these are tight. Not table 13 shooters tight, but... Good shot. Good shot. I just drop back, play the nine into the bottom right. Yeah, he did. I didn't think he was going to play it like that. Good shot. Deposit tonight. Six four. Rack number eleven. Jeff to break. Jeff lead in six racks to four. Another solid break for Jeff. Want to be a little closer, but he's okay. Just got to put a good shot here. This is the shot of the rack. Not sure if you can draw it straight back up and play the five into the bottom left. Nice shot. Just another one come off the long rail. Just going to play the 8 up into the top right. Little hair of left. I just used that long rail. 
slide down, play the nine in the bottom left. Okay, go, went two rails. And my angle from here, it's kind of tough to tell on that shot. Keen eye, Keegan. Yeah, man. Solid right now. 7 4. Rack number 12, Rob to break. Rob trailing, four racks to seven. Well, if he wants a hill hill match, he's going to have to take a game away from Jeff's break. You know, he's, he's got to, Rob has to win this rack, and then he's got to take. He needs to take two games off of Jeff on Jeff's break. He can't keep falling behind. It's going to be too tough to catch up. Because you're going to, keep, every game you win, you're going to keep giving this kid breaks. So you got to steal one on your rack, on his rack. If he can steal two, we're going to be in for a barn burner. control of the one there. You have to play that combo firm. Keep the one over the pocket. That he needs to win this one and he needs to break Jeff's rack, Jeff's break. That's actually a good one, uh, Calcutta, he does. From the color of money after he gets his eyes done. Well, didn't leave anything easy. But as we've seen Jeff play, I think you're going to see that cue ball parked right behind that three. Yeah, I think he did give him a piece. Now he's pulled out his jump cue. It might just be a half ball jump. Yeah, it looks like it's a half ball jump. Yeah, you're right, Rico. You want to hit this full. Oh! That was a good attempt. Great attempt. Okay. Nice shot. back, play the four, bottom left. Jeff stroking the ball really good. come off the long rail. It's 
good shot. And just roll forward, he's okay. He's got the seven into the bottom right. I wonder if he's going to try to slide it off the long. Nope. Play it forward. That's the shot. Nice shot. Just hitting the balls clean, man. Dead center pocket. Jeff's gone up. 8 to 4. We're almost at about the hour mark here. Rack number 13. Jeff to break. Jeff leading. Eight racks to four. Yeah, that could have been, guys. But nothing's over till it's over. Oh, and he lost his cue ball. All right, Rob has to get this rack. Here's an opportunity. If he can get this rack, run his next rack, he'll be two down. So this is a big two-game swing right here. The stroke a little better than that. Now he fell out of position. <sighs> what do you think, guys? You go for it or you just try to play safe? Bank the six back up. Leave a cue ball behind the eight nine. Steel City says safe. Rico says safe. Buy a shot. <laughs> oh, we got to call a friend. Slick Silver, what's going on, buddy? Behind the nine. Well, he's... Let me take a look here. Yeah, he can see it. He can go right in between the 8 and 9. Clip the 6. <laughs> what a fucking shot. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to swear there, guys. Sorry, but that shot was just sick. 8-4, eight, eight Jeff. Wow. Yeah. Beep. My apologies, guys. It slipped. Hey, I'm a fan myself. Eee, that's, he's left himself a tester here. I didn't even think that bank could go.
that. He's stroking loose, man. Oh. Well, this ain't easy either. He can't cut it in the side. The three rails try to put the cue ball back where it is now for the nine into the top left. It's almost like cutting the blue in the side on a snooker table. Come back for the yellow. I don't know. It almost looked like a snooker shot to go up shape for the yellow. Yeah, it looks like he's going for the cut. I don't know. I think I, I think I like going into that side pocket, bringing the cue ball around. Uh, yeah, I think you, get, you had to play that in the side because the natural angle is going to bring you up to play the nine into the top left. But if he's cutting good and that's what's working, you go with your shot. Never change your shot. Nine four, Jeff. Oh, well, as you can see, Rob was saying he wasn't trying to make it. He just wanted to leave it there. He just hit it bad. So Rob wasn't trying to cut it. He was trying to play safe. And now he's saying he should have cut it in the side pocket. And Jeff was like, yep. Yeah. Rob even said when he was going to break that he should have cut it in the corner. Or he should have cut it in the side. That's right, and he's a snooker player. So that's why I figured it, it's a blue to yellow shot, basically. Well, he has a rack here. This is a time where you just got to start playing for pride. But you're never over till it's over. He just has to break Jeff's break. But the problem is Jeff is making two, three balls every break. Parking Whitey in the center of the table. Everything's over a pocket. You can't beat that. Unless someone throws some baby powder in his eyes or something like that. Have a rocky moment. Got to be careful he doesn't bump into that eight or into that seven. Good shot. Yeah, you got that right, Rico.
Nice shot. Nice shot. Six five. Or nine five, sorry. Six five. I just probably freaked half of New Brunswick out. Sorry guys. Rack number fifteen. Jeff to break. Jeff lead in 9 5. Oh, well, the two. He's got a tough shot on the two, but yeah, I think we might be seeing a safety here. Bank that two back up table. Leave the cue ball where the two is now. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Under ruse. I don't know, man. I think they still might. Couldn't tell you. I see, not a long time. That's it. Oh. I love jalapenos, man. I love jalapenos. Dave, when I was younger, I used to eat scotch bonnet peppers raw, man. Oh. Good shot. Smart shot. Ghost pepper I won't deal with, man. I won't even need a habanero now. Like raw. Those days are done for me, man. I enjoy my insides too much. But I still like the jalapeno. I'll still leave raw jalapenos. I don't mind those. <laughs> Slick Silver said at least it wasn't cayenne pepper. Well, I think he can see the right edge of the three. Get back behind the five. Shot. I remember once we had that ghost chili ex uh, extract. And uh, we bet a guy at the bar 50 bucks that he couldn't take a toothpick. And not sweat or anything for I think it was 10 seconds <laughs> within like two seconds man the guy was done I don't think I've seen him again after that yeah I think it was as soon as it hit his tongue it, that he was done man finished sweating profusely and I haven't seen him since he did pay up but I still haven't seen him Probably did, poor guy. And I had some like 250,000 school. No, it was like half a million or 750,000 school full units. It's crazy. All right. He's got a tester here on the three. He can bank it. I think he can get by that nine, so he should be okay. Nice shot. The pool player clap. The golfers got that soft clap. The pool players knock on the rail. 
Nice hit. Good shot. These guys are kicking back and forth here. You got a good safety rack going. Well, you can play a bank corner and get shape. Yeah, I can even do that. And even put that cue down by the nine. The safe is tough. I think he's got to go to the bank. And that's what he tried to do. He just, he have to hit it. Had to hit it. Good cue ball weight. Oh, perfect angle. Draw back down. Play the five in the right side. Yeah, just a nice little stash shot right here. <laughs> Jeff is on the hill. Ten five. Rack number 16, Rob to break, Rob trailing, five racks to 10. I think he had to play the bank corner there. He just didn't hit it. If he hit it, he laid perfect on the four. Oh, I think if it was winter break, it might be 11 1, 11 2. Strong break. These guys are both breaking strong. Well, bring the cue ball down table, put the one right up where that 6 8 is. Try to go the other way. Get behind the eight, still a good shot. <clears throat> He's pulling out the jump cue.
the only problem is they haven't been able to hook him. Like the kid's almost playing near perfect pool. You know, both two players have been playing near perfect pool all day today. But it's tough when every time you get to the table, you're hooked. There's nothing you can do. It's you need to get lucky. Thanks a lot, buddy. That's why I think it gets to the point where, you know, the guys on the hill, you got to go for every shot. Get behind the six. Uh, I think you might see a Z stroke here. I'm not sure if he's froze up on that six enough. That's okay. My brother's name's Rob. My dad's Romeo. My brother's Richard. A lot of R's in our family. Then my other brother's Jerry and my other brother's Guy. Thank God it's not any more R's. It's <laughs> good a kick. You know, everybody wants to win a tournament. At the same time, there's always got to be a second place. And to say that you came second in the amateurs is still an amazing accomplishment. And who knows? With Jeff probably playing the Open next year, or has to play the Open, I think. It might be Rob's near year next year. Yeah, that's right, Rico. So, you know, it's n nothing to be ashamed of where, uh, you know, you lose to the champion twice. That he's the only one who beats you. It's not like Joe Rogan beat you the first match and then Jeff beat you the second. You lost to the champion. There's no shame in that. But it's not over yet. Hey, Rob's a great guy, man. Got to talk to him quite a bit since he's down here. And you know what? I He comes back next year, man. He's a favorite. To get behind the nine? I'm not sure. Uh, I think he's going to have to pull out the jumpy. Yeah, I know one of my uh, good friends he used to live in Toronto, actually uh, moved back to Moncton, I guess, four years ago. Sean Peppard. Uh, he went to Vegas for a BCA tournament. His team won it down there. I'm not sure if he does play out of Dooley's. I'm sure some of you guys might know him. Ooh, but he made the eight. No, oh, overcut it. Yeah, toughest rack to win. It's the first and the last. Uh, probably Mr. Maltese is here. But I think that was actually uh, Jeff who made the whistle. Sam only whistles like a bird.
Good shot. He wants to be under the three, but he's okay. The seven is past the side pocket. Good shot. Alright, just gotta go straight down the corner. This is a tricky shot. Just gotta follow through. No, it rolled out on him. That's a tough shot. All right. Here's a bank side. I think Jeff wants to get this over with now. Oh, there's a shot and lays nice onto the side. Listen to the crowd go after this, everybody. That's it, everybody. Jeff Robson defeats Rob Sakal 11 5. Congratulations, Jeff. Hey, way to go, Rob. Second place. Nothing to be ashamed with about that, buddy. That was a great event, guys. Well done. All right, we're going to have an award ceremony in a moment. Give us a second, guys. Hey, anytime, Key. I'm here all week, buddy. 16 days. Uh, 10 more to go. Alright, give me a second there, guys. We're going to do the uh, award ceremony.